Welcome everybody, we are here with a sugar farm tutorial for Britannia. This sugar farm will go all the way from making the sugar cane to breaking the sugar cane to making it into sugar. This one in front of me is the design I came up with. Not me to toot my own trumpet, but I think it looks pretty damn cool. And we're going to actually be showing you how to build this one, but first we'll show you how to build a bit of a simple one, just because it's the same concept and it's a bit easier to explain. Now both of these designs are tileable. This one over here, the small one can go as big as that block over there, and the other one can actually just keep going as long as you want it. To start, we just place sand going down six blocks that way and six blocks down the other side with water in the middle. The first thing you need to do is place mana pools down on either side here, then place your redstone mana spreaders on the top, and place a ball ends. We're using ball ends to break the sugar cane when they grow up this high. The next step is place your hovering hourglass in the middle, and I'm using 20 soul sand for 20 minutes time on that, but you can play around with that and see what suits you. Then you can come around the other side here and place a mana pool one block up, just so that it collects whatever's left over of the mana burst when it does shoot through there. And we may as well use mana sparks just to recycle whatever mana does come through. All that's left to do is place down sugarcane and we can get going on the automation of the sugar. I'll just switch over my inventory so we can get going on that. For starters, let's place our crafting table down here. Then you'll need a living rock and a crafting table to create some crafting placeholders. And we'll use these to make a crafting pattern, so you'll need one piece of redstone because we're only making one spot for the sugar. Place the redstone in the corner here and place the crafting placeholders around it, and we should get a crafting pattern. Then we'll jump out of that and place our crafty crate one block up, and left click our crafting pattern on that. Then place a hopper into the crafty crate, and the hopper's there just so that we only get one item going in the crafty crate at a time. Then on top of the crafty crate, place a chest, We'll place an item frame on the chest and the hopper. And we'll place sugar on the item frame on the chest because that's where the sugar's going to be going. And we'll place some sugar cane on the item frame on the hopper because that's where we want the sugar cane to go. And then all that's left to do is place the hopper hock. And this whole thing's actually done at this stage. So what we can do is we can just test it out, drop some sugar cane down on the ground, and we should see it get picked up by the hopper. And then transferred into the crafty crate. Once it goes in the crafty crate, it should drop some sugar down. And the sugar should get stored in the chest. Now we can have a look at our other design. It's actually the same concept as what we have just made, but it's a little bit different. The beams are going to be angled at an angle, as you can see in the middle here, to mana pools in the middle. So they're both going to the same mana pool. When you come around this way, you can see that I've put a path down the diagonal there. You don't actually need that path there. It's kind of just because we didn't need water there, so I put, put those in there. It looks a bit cooler. We've also managed to put our sugar cane to sugar machine here. You can move that around. It's not really too important where that goes, but the design of that does not change. You also, I'm sure, can see that if you go either end here, you can just keep repeating this design onwards and create a, create a kind of a path, I don't know. You can mess around with that and see what you can come up with. That's all we have for today's video, guys. If it does help you or if you do like it, please do leave a like. Also, tell me what you think about my new outro. I've been having a look at a few YouTubers and seeing what they're doing. I've given it a try. Just tell me what you think about it, and I'll see you next time.